Alright, what is going on dudes? My name is Other13, welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y, or, or as Wi-Fi Battle. Uh, the last Wi-Fi Battle I did, I was actually against Jadrick, and I, di I didn't realize it. And this one I am too. Um, this is the next Wi-Fi Battle I had, so... We're gonna get... S excuse me, we're gonna get started here. So, it was a pretty cool battle. And, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna lead out with my Gorgeist here. And, uh, he's predicting the Gorgeist, so he's going to lead out with his Chandelure. Now... Um, immediately I know I cannot take this matchup, so I'm going to switch and I'm going to go into my Don fan. Uh, I'm just gonna hit, take whatever hit that I'm, that he will throw at me. And, yeah. So he's gonna go for the energy ball in the next turn. Luckily he missed a fire blast or else Elephone will be down and out right there. But, um, so I'm able to hit him with the E-Quake, which will definitely take down that Chandelure. So, the Chandelure is down, and, but at the cost, my... Dawn fan is at 1 HP. Luckily, Sturdy is freaking awesome. So, yes. He's going to go into the Roserade now, because uh, anything he sends in pretty much can take me down. So, I hit him with the Ice Shard, which is going to do a lot of damage, and he's going to take me out with a Mega Drain. So, I did a, I did a little over half of that Roserade, which is pretty darn good, and I'm very, very happy with that. But, uh, Elephant did go down, and that sucks balls, but Elephant did his job. So, next I am going to send in my Electivire, because I know my Electivire can take this thing down with a Flamethrower, because it's low enough on health. So, I send him in, and hit him with the Flamethrower, and that Roserade is now down. So, I should be good, uh, later in this match. So, he now sends in the Mamoswine. Now, the question is, do I stay in here, Flamethrower Rich? And that's what I decided to do. Hoping I could live an E-Quake from it, but that's absolutely going to wreck Kitty, which sucks balls. So, <laughs> uh, poor Kitty. Anyways, I'm going to go into my Go-Go here, because I know Go-Go can wreck this thing. Um, uh, he's gonna go over the E-Quake again, so that makes me think he's, like, Choice Band or something like that. Because, uh, he, he would probably have an Ice-type move on this thing, at least in my opinion. That's what I would do for Mammoth's Mind. But, I'm gonna hit him with the... Horn Leech, and do a butt ton of damage, do about 70% of his health or so, 60%, somewhere in that area. So, I'm gonna get my recovery back with the leftovers, and he's gonna sub out the Mammoth Swine to save it for later, and he's gonna go into the, uh, Gudra. So, uh, again, predicting the Horn Leech, he's gonna get hit with that, and I'm, I'm like, alright, I can deal with that, so I'm gonna switch out here, even though I can hit it with the Earthquake and do a decent amount of damage, and I could take an Ice Beam from it, but I'm just gonna send in Kate Upton, because Kate Upton has Dragon Tail and Ice Beam, uh, so she would be able to handle this Gudra very, very nicely, so, um, yes. Just we get all the recoveries, because these animations take for freaking ever, and that's what I hate. So, uh, he's gonna go for the T-Bolt, which is gonna hurt Kate Upton a little bit. Actually, a lot more than I thought it would. He got the crit on that, which was very, very lucky for him. And he's also a Life Orb, which I have never seen a Life Orb Gudra. So, uh, Jadrick's pulling out some interesting sets. So, I know that I cannot live one more T-Bolt, um, and I'm, and he is faster than me, so I'm unable to use... Uh, ice Beam and be able to knock the thing out. So, I'm going to send in Donkey to take it, because I know he can take the Ice Beam at the very minimum. Or, the Thunderbolt, excuse me. Why would he not be able to take a Thunderbolt? He would be able to take the Ice Beam when he used it, but, yes. So, he's gonna luckily get the Paralysis, and I'm like, gosh dang it. But I know that as long as I can break through the Paralysis, I should be okay, because I will be able to live one Ice Beam from this thing. So, he's gonna hit me with the Ice Beam, and I know that Gogo has some s massive Special D, and I've also trained mine in Special Defense, so, uh, I'm gonna just hit him with the Earthquake as I break through the Paralysis, which is awesome, and I take down the Gudra, so, uh, yeah. Doing pretty good. Gogo is a very, very fun Pokemon to use in competitive play. It's a very, very useful Pokemon, very, very strong, and I love it. So, uh, Santa's little helper is who he sends in next, and, uh, it's an Arcanine. So, I know I can't do anything here. I decide to just sacrifice my Go-Goat here, um, hoping that somehow I could live a special attack from it, but I know that I couldn't. So, I just let, uh, go, -Go faint, because he was paralyzed and only a little over half health. So, I'm gonna send in Kate Upton here. Really don't know why, because, uh, Kate Upton is unable to is going to be unable to survive this. I was hoping that, actually, it did, I'm, 
I don't, you know, I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea why. Uh, I don't know how that my Melotic survived that. That doesn't make very much sense to me. Anyways, he's gonna withdraw now, um, because he can't do anything and he will get wrecked if he tries to attack. So he's going to send in his own Dawn Fan to take the incoming Scald because he is sturdy, so he'll be able to live with 1 HP. So, um, yeah. Uh, get my leftover recovery will be will put me over almost 140 health, which is pretty good He's gonna go for the knockoff, which is gonna suck. It's not gonna do very much damage But it's gonna get rid of my leftovers, which is a bit irritating So I'm gonna hit him with the dragon tail, which is going to knock out the dawn fan. So uh, Pretty good stuff. He's gonna go into his mammoth swine next because he really doesn't have much to counter this Milotic this is his biggest counter his team because he has he had three Pokemon that was weak to it. He misses the Icicle Crash, which sucks for him, so his Mammoth Swine is able to be taken down by my Melotic. So, um, yeah. <sighs> Next he has the Arcanine, which is going to be easily taken down by the Scald. Um, and he's gonna go, I believe, for the Extreme Speed once again. Or Crunch. He does outspeed me. I did not believe he outspeed, outsped me. But the Crunch doesn't do enough. And so I'm gonna get the Scald off and do uh, a lot of damage to it. And I know that I can live whatever he hits me with, so he's just gonna go with a Fire Blast. And I'm gonna hit him with one more Scald and finish the match off. So, that was a great match. Uh, if you wanna check out Jadrick, his channel will be in the description below. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. He's he's an awesome guy. He's, he's my um, one of my best friends. So, yeah, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle. If you did, click that like button. It is always appreciated. And, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will talk to you all later.